Hey guys, this is Shukesh once again and as you know, I did a battery charging speed test of iPhone XS Max and compared it with other smartphones like Galaxy Note 9, OnePlus 6 and Galaxy S9 Plus. Now in that speed test, I used the included Apple 5W charger and I also mentioned that I will compare the charging speed with the iPad charger which is of 10W. So here I am doing the speed test once again on the left window using the iPad charger. It's rated 5V 2A. So let's get started with the speed test. I will take the readings at the same intervals and compare the battery levels. Stay tuned. So guys, after 5 minutes of charging using the included 5W adapter, the iPhone XS Max managed to charge from 0 to 3%, whereas with the iPad charger of 10W, the battery percentage is right now 5% on this same iPhone XS Max. I will take the next reading at the 15 minutes mark to get a better idea. It's 15 minutes on the stopwatch and let me show you what I got with the 5W adapter which is just 9%. Now let me show you what I got on the same iPhone using the iPad 10W charger and it's 17%, almost double. So it's much faster and if you already have an iPad then definitely use your iPad charger, it's safe to use even if you don't buy one, it's a must for your new iPhone XS and XS Max. The next reading will be taken at the 30 minutes mark. Guys it's half an hour and let's quickly show you the battery percentage on the iPhone XS Max which is 18% and with the 10W iPad charger you can see on the left the battery level has gone up to 34%. So the new iPhone XS and XS Max are really capable they support fast charging in fact with a proper fast charger you can charge your iPhone XS Max to 50% within just 30 minutes. But you have to pay extra for that for the power brick and also for a USB Type-C to lightning cable. It's a shame after paying 1,10,000 rupees for the phone, you have to pay extra for the fast charger. Next, let's quickly compare the battery levels at 45 minutes mark which is 26% with the default 5W Apple charger and the same phone charges to 50% just by using the 10W Apple adapter. If your iPad adapter is of 12 watt then it will be even faster. 50% battery in 45 minutes is not that bad actually considering the battery backup of this new iPhone XS Max is actually quite good. It's better than the flagships I have tested. Guys it's about 1 hour on the stopwatch and with the 5 watt charger iPhone XS Max's battery level is 34% good enough for half a day's backup whereas with the 10 watt charger it's already 65% about a full day's backup. So it's really silly Apple included a 5 watt charger with this phone though it's capable of fast charging. Of course Apple wants more money from you so you have to pay extra for the charger. Maybe in future they will stop including free adapters in the box. You have to either charge your phone using your computer or buy the Apple adapter as an accessory. Now I didn't take any readings at 1 or 30 minutes mark previously but let me show you with the iPad charger the phone charges to 89%. Now at 1 hour 36 minutes mark OnePlus 6 got 100% battery level and at that time with the 5W adapter iPhone XS Max had just 54% battery. Now let's check the battery percentage using the 10W charger it's 91%, well 92 right now. Now though the battery size of iPhone XS Max is smaller than OnePlus 6s, the battery backup is actually better and with 92% battery you will get approximately the same battery life as the OnePlus flagship which is being charged by the 20W dash charger. Now you see the point why you should invest in a fast charger or at least get an iPad charger. Now just like any other adapter, iPad charger is getting slower at higher battery levels. It's at 98% after 2 hours of charging whereas at 2 hours and 2 minutes mark when Note 9 got 100% battery level, iPhone XS Max was at 69% battery level. Now at 2 hours and 9 minutes mark, the iPhone XS Max being charged using the iPad charger charged to 100%. If your iPad charger is of 12W then definitely it will be less than 2 hours and it's actually not that bad. 
This year's new iPhone XS Max is one of the best phones I have ever used in terms of battery performance and also the speed of the user interface, the response, the gaming performance, heat management, the loudspeaker, the look and feel of the phone, everything is just perfect except for the battery charging speed which can be solved using an iPad charger or a fast charger. So definitely get one of these when you buy the phone. That's all in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that it was useful. Do remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video and also check our new Hindi channel at youtube.com slash gadgetsportalhindi.